word on the street, so they say that Kodak Black signed serious warning to McMill because of his 6 9 comment. And you all know how crazy this is going right now. I posted a video previously letting you all know what uh, McMill said about uh, Kodak Black talking about the reason why he made that collaboration with 6 9 and McMill said that I damn near don't want to even be labelled a rapper no more just because of Kodak Black was explaining the reason why I mean business wise in the music industry the reason why he did that collaboration now listen up man I'm gonna play you all the video of what Kodak said uh, on his interview with Dream Charms and the reason why McMill said what he said so they say right now that Kodak Black is kind of going off on, on McMill, right? And uh, sending him serious warning because of his comment on 6 9 collaboration. Now, you all realize that Kodak Black was paid a million dollars to do that collaboration. And that's the amount of money no rapper ever been paid in the music industry to do a collaboration. And this is some real money and real business move. So Kodak Black was in the situation of accepting the money or listening to what people are saying in the street, you know, talking about the kind of stuff that is going on in the industry, right? That, you know, 6 9 was a snitch and stuff like that. And for McMill to come out to say that he doesn't want to be loved a rapper no more just because of Kodak Black got a million dollars to do a collaboration with someone that the streets ordered to be a snitch. I mean, that's crazy. So you all seen uh, McMill going out there, hanging out with these white folks and, you know, doing business with people that even a snitch in the industry. So why is he having so much problem with Kodak Black doing a collaboration with 6 ix 9 So Kodak Black right now sending him a serious warning, letting him know that he can't be speaking on his business decisions. I mean, at the end of the day, man, who is McMill to come and speak on business decision that Kodak Black made? I mean, he made up this business decision and did that collaboration for his own self. I mean, the industry is so effed up, man. Everyone wants you to follow the street rules. Everyone will just wants you to act a certain way. Everyone want to like you just because you are like every other person. I mean, it's really crazy. And this has to do up among our black rappers, black artists. Because all these white artists, man, they don't give a F about what nobody's talking about. So if McMill is coming out to say that Kodak Black shouldn't have done that collaboration with 6 9 just because 6 9 is a snitch, right? That's crazy. You know, that's a hero. You know, you must be hearing for, you know, if you see a situation that you gotta be paid about a million dollars and the only thing you have to deal with is the person is a snitch and the street is calling him a snitch and stuff like that, you have to break the rules. You have to do what's best for you. I mean, nobody's going to give you money at the end of the day. McMill can give Kodak Black a million dollars you know, not to do a collaboration with 6 9 He doesn't even have, he, McMill haven't gotten paid a million dollars to do a collaboration in his whole career. I mean, no rapper have ever gotten that amount of money. If you don't know any rapper in the industry right now who has gotten a million dollars to do a collaboration, you all let me know under the comment section because I know Lil Baby was getting about $300,000 for collaboration and uh, the highest paid rapper, I think about $500,000 for collaboration. But right here, 6 9 was willing to pay Kodak a million dollars. And he paid the money and even dashed Kodak Black, gifted Kodak Black a, a Rolls Royce, right? Rolls Royce Phantom. I mean, that was crazy. So why would McMill be speaking on the situation? And that's the reason why Kodak is sending him a serious warning, letting him know that you shouldn't be speaking on my business. I did what I did and I did what I did and was best for me. Because at the end of the day, man, if I fell off the music industry, none of you was going to give me money. None of you was going to feed my family. None of you was going to look out for me. Because at the end of the day, man, it's all fake love in the industry. You all see so many of these rappers, man, talking about the crazy situation of how they fell off and none of their rappers' friends was even able to help them and stuff like that. That's why you shouldn't be listening to people. Whenever you want to do stuff, you shouldn't be listening to people. You shouldn't be getting any advice from people because at the end of the day, everyone want to give you their opinion, but nobody was is actually doing those stuff, right? Because you have to make decisions for yourself at the end of the day. So that's what Kodak Black did. 
But you all remember, man, this video is still a legend. It's for entertainment and educational purposes only. But let me know what you all think under the comment section, man. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bell so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you're feeling generous today, you can send the super thanks to the channel or you can join the channel membership and I will give you all a very big shout out. Catch you guys later, man, and stay safe out there. Whatever, uh, like whatever the nigga be in, bro, yeah. That's some shit. Like convince them, like just basically like look at it in a in a, in a, in a sense. I you know, like the whole snitching shit or whatever type time. Like man, bro, don't do that. Like, nothing you want to do it. Like the more of them shit, like shit, like they, like they fought me, cause like bitch, I gave my insulin. That was that. You feel me? Like, like ain't even nothing to think about. That's an M. That's an M, my man. One song. One song, bro. For sixteen. And like, it's like, is he, what the fuck, oh man? I understand the value of a dollar. Right. Yeah. What? A hundred dollars is still a hundred dollars. A band still a band, homie. Oh yeah. All right. I mean, fucking all about to do a song with a nigga who, like, I don't even know the niggas he told on. Wait, in on and I ain't even from over there. And this is some shit, like, nigga, that's y'all rap. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>